This is just a look at the YubiKey. I just purchased this from Amazon for, uh, let me look here, $25. It wasn't much. I already own this. I, uh, I have the original version. I don't know. It's got to be a, maybe 10 years old now or maybe a little less. I've been using the YubiKey for the longest for all kinds of authentication, for emails, uh, password manager, for everything. It's a second form of authentication. Uh, what I like about it is that in order for you to log into my account, you need a you, you need my physical YubiKey. You just need it. This is my second one uh, as a backup to my original one. And the reason I purchased this, I think this is the, um, uh, one of the newer ones where you can use NFC. This is for your phone or anything that uses NFC so that you can log in without having to plug it in. And um, I purchased it uh, to have a backup. And it's more of a look at video, if anything. Uh, it's very small, light, easy to set up. Once you get the encryption keys into the application that you're using, it's more, um, I think you have to run it about two or three times, uh, get it up and run. There's a bunch of videos. Uh, YubiKey itself makes videos on YouTube showing you how to use it. I'm just letting you know as a regular user, I really do believe in these. Um, if I'm in... Uh, California, and I log into my account in California uh, with my YubiKey and everything, and I go somewhere else, another state. Um, a lot of times, uh, you know, if I go to New York, a lot of times the uh, application will ask me to re-authenticate. Now, you can do it with the password, and if somebody in New York knows your password, they'll log in. But if you have the YubiKey, uh, tied to your account, it, it either is going to ask you for the YubiKey authentication as a second form of authentication, um, if you have it set up that way, or just because you're so far away, it may ask you for the YubiKey. Um, it, it's just, to me, it's very necessary. Uh, it's just a, for in order for someone to get into my account, they have to have the encryption code that this YubiKey provides. It's battery free. No, uh, you don't need Wi-Fi, any kind of connection. It's an actual physical uh, encryption device. I don't know how it, all the details on how it works. I'm sure you can find that out if you want to. But you need to have this. So it's sort of, um, I forgot what were the three forms of authentication. But the two I'm practicing is a password, a strong password, and a uh, physical device that you have to have to plug in. So we had that when I worked uh, for a company when they required VPN, I needed to plug in an actual security key. Um, that was an RSA key, I remember. Um, or use the code on the RSA key to log in. So you needed the physical device as well. It worked very well, to my knowledge, nothing, no one's ever hacked into that network. Um, requires all their users to use that key, which is a really good practice, I think. The only thing is you have to not lose your YubiKey. You have to always have it. So getting a backup is good. I mean, many of the applications that use a YubiKey, if you lose one, Many of the applications will allow you to delete the key from your account just in case somebody figures out this YubiKey is yours, knows your password, and now they can log in, and you don't want that. So a lot of the applications will allow you to remove the YubiKey that you authenticated onto the actual application. Let me just show you the size. It's a pretty light device. Tiny. This is a regular USB-A one and an NFC one, which means it has the wireless capability. You just tap your phone or something uh, to get it going, and it's plastic. It's pretty cool. One of the nice things is really light, very easy to use. Once you set this up, 
You just set it up and forget it. And you just use it all the time. Uh, I've never had an issue where I had to reset up a YubiKey. They just always work. I was just curious as to, as to the weight so that you can see how light it is. Barely 0.1 ounce, barely. So you can, so it took a second to read the size, the weight. Uh, I'm not an expert, I'm not a security expert. I just like to be careful. I'm a regular user and if I could use this and, um, uh, and uh, you know, it's another form of authentication, you're never gonna be hack proof. But the more obstacles you put in someone's way, the better. It's the same thing as um, I'm a former uh, law enforcement and one of the things that you learn in law enforcement is just to put obstacles in the way of person so that they move on to a much uh, less hard to get into uh, Items. So let's say for a vehicle, unless they really needed your vehicle, and back in the day, if you put a big giant red club, that's why they put it made of red, so it stands out, um, they usually move down to another car, unless they really wanted your vehicle. It's just putting obstacles in the way of a person who is trying to do harm to you. Just make it more difficult, hopefully they'll move on, and they won't bother with you. Same thing goes for your car and other items. I'm not an expert, this is just regular life experience I'm telling you about. That's all you wanna do, you just wanna make it harder for someone else to hack into your account, that's it. Not hack proof, you never will be hack proof, but you can make it hard. All right, I hope you liked the video, I hope it helps. Uh, like and subscribe, ask me any questions, I usually answer within a day or two. Thank you for watching. Bye now.